DJ Pro is compatible with so many different DJ controllers. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to map whatever controller that you have to get the features that you want. So you don't have to spend money to get a new controller. All right. So in order to map a controller, first, you have to have a controller plugged in. I'm using this new Mark DJ touch. It's plugged in, ready to go. Now we're going to go to that middle button here, middle button. And then you may be in modes. So you're going to have to go to settings. And then now we are going to go all the way to the bottom, which is MIDI devices. And here you will find your controller. So right now it says DJ to go to touch right here. So we are going to click on that. And now we are in the MIDI mapping section of the software. So up here at the top is where you're going to see all the mappings that you made. I recommend making ones for different styles of DJing. So this controller is a little bit on the small side, so it does you can't have every single feature at the same time. But what you can do is you can make separate mappings. So I have a mapping, for example, when I do when I'm mixing with hip hop and doing scratching, I have this mapping, and then I also have the original built-in mapping when I'm just doing normal DJing. So here we are built in. Let's start with that, and I'm going to show you how to map whatever button you want. I'll show you how to do a couple of them. And once you know how to do a couple, you can basically do them all. First thing that I would do is I would find a button on the controller. You might have an old controller thinking about getting a new one and you want some of the new features, but you can map any feature you want. So here we go. We have this controller. I'm going to do this headphone button. I don't use headphones most of the time when I use this controller. And when I do, this button really does nothing because the headphones are controlled by the crossfader. So in order to find which button or knob you're going to map, it may seem confusing, but all you have to do is simply touch the button. So now I'm touching the headphone button. So now it says note D1 deck 2 monitor audio. So to change this, we have target and action. So target is where it's going. So this is a mixture feature for the headphones, but what we're going to want is we're going to want deck two so now it's going to control this side deck two and then the action i think the best action that we could put here is to turn on an effects so instead of a button we're never going to use we get set like an echo or a flanger with that button right there it's a nice round button it will work great for an effect so we have to scroll down it there are so many different things you can map so it may be hard to find so now we have fx1 enabled so now we're going to click that, save, done. So now we have our effects open, and then we're going to play. So there we go. Now we could do an echo out, which makes transitioning really easy. We have our effects over here. You can just choose which effect you want for effect one. And now we can control it with that button there. Another thing that this controller doesn't have is a filter. So there's no bass knob and no filter. So let's do a knob. We did a button. Let's do a knob. So this knob here, which is the Q level, that controls the volume inside your headphones and like i said with this smaller controller it's more for a fun or a casual djing so usually don't use headphones so we have an open knob we can map with a filter so we're going to go back touch two now we're going to move this knob again it's a target mixer and a monitor volume we're going to switch this to deck two action filter so action filter save Done. And there we go. We got now we have a filter right up here to do the filter on this side. And then we have effects. So this controller went from missing two really 
necessary features for most DJing, the filter and effects, now they have them here on this controller. I didn't have to go out and buy a new controller. Whatever your heart desires, whatever buttons or knobs, if you see a new controller advertised and you're like, oh, I wish my controller had that feature, it does. You just have to know how to map it. And if you're thinking about getting this controller, check out my full review on this new Mark DJ to go to touch controller.